What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind of Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video and comment down below. Today, we're going to talk about Constance Baker Motley. 1921 until she's still living. Birthplace, New Haven, Connecticut. Woman of distinct, distinction. Constance was born in a small state of Connecticut, but the legal battle she won made a big difference in her life, in the lives of her people. As a lawyer, Constance fought many important civil rights battles. One of the most famous victories gave Jane Meredith the right to become a student at the University of Mississippi during the 1950s. It was against the law of black and white students in the meritorious right to attend, to attend the school of his choice. Constance victory struck an important blow against segregation in Southern University. In 1965, Constance was elected Manhattan Brock president in New York City. She was the first black person and first woman to hold the powerful office. In 1966, President Lyndon Johnson appointed her a United States District Judge. Now I'm talking about Constance Baker Motley has proven that the courts and law are powerful weapons in the fight for justice. Now, this chick been on a roll right here, boy. Constance Baker Motley, born September 14, 1921, New Haven, Connecticut, U.S. Died September 20, 28, 2005. She did pass away, but the book didn't say that. The book only said she was born in 1921 and don't have a date when she passed away, but she did pass away. New York, New York. American lawyer and journalist, an effective legal advocate in the civil rights movement, and the first African American woman to become a federal judge, 1966 to 2005. Constance Baker's father was a chief, a chef, for Skull and Bone, an exclusive social club at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. Her interest in civil rights led her to join the local chapter of the National Association of the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. After she was denied admission to a public beach and skating ring, unable to afford a college education despite her academic talent, she so impressed wealthy white contractor and philanthropist Clarence Blakes Blakesley that he paid for her education. She graduated from New York City University in 1943. Three years later, after earning a law degree from Columbia University of New York City, in New York City, she married Joel Wilson Motley, a real estate and insurance broker. Even before Completing law school, she joined the Legal Defense and Education Educational Fund of the NAACP, where she worked with Thurgood Marshall. Wow, who knew that? Over the 20 year period during which she served as a staff member and associate counsel. 
She won, she won nine civil rights victories in cases she agreed uh, argued before the U.S. Supreme Court, including James Harrison Meredith's right to be admitted to the University of Mississippi in 1962. Hmm. She been busy. In 1966, U.S. President Lyndon Lyndon B. Johnson nominated her to the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, making Motley the first black African-American woman to be appointed to a federal judgeship. Man, that's, that's just awesome, man. It just, it, just, it just blows my mind. It really does. Serving, let me see. In addition to numerous awards and honorary degrees recognizing her contributions to civil rights and the legal profession, Molly was introduced into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 1993. Her autobiography, Equal Justice Under Law, was published in 1998. I've learned a lot, I learned a lot about this lady right here already. She didn't, she didn't conquered and came over different accolades to get to where she was finally recognized as the first African-American woman from the NAACP. As a, man, I'm telling you, it's just awesome. Now that's the end of my video. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video and comment down below. Listen, you're too blessed to be stressed, love and happiness at all times. Hug somebody and tell them you love them. And I always do a random act of kindness. <sighs> Boy, I tell you. Valentine's Day is in the air. Who is ready for Valentine's Day? If you're ready for Valentine's Day, go down to the, into the description. And, you know, it'll be a link in the description. Buy your loved one some merch for Valentine's Day. Come on over. Cop that merch. I'm giving 20% off of all the merch that I have listed on my page in my store for 20% off. So come on. It's Valentine's Day. It's the season. <laughs> it's coming up this week. And until next time, I'll see y'all on the next one.